A $5,000 reward is being offered after a dog was found with severe burns to its body. The dog, currently undergoing treatment, was found in St. Rose on Riverwood Drive. Jade Cunningham spoke with the dog, or with the man who found the dog, and how its recovery is going. And we also must warn you that some viewers might find the following images disturbing. Those who are caring for baby boy say they are consciously optimistic about his survival, but that he has a long road ahead. And we have to warn you that the video in this story might be graphic for some. There is nothing a dog could do to ever deserve this. Baby boy is a two-year-old Shih Tzu who's a fighter. He is progressing. He's still in ICU, but we did get to upgrade him from critical to guarded. On March 11th, he was found by this man. Really, when I saw him, I was just like, kind of like, oh my God. Who noticed the pup was in pain and got help. He was really bad, just a big scab on the forehead. Once I realized he was alive, it's like I couldn't leave him there. Baby boy was brought to Metairie Animal Shelter, where they found liquid burns all over. He's a, he's a puppy. From the tip of his nose. The top of the head. To the bottom of his paws. They had obviously lifted his tail and sprayed him. The burns, now open wounds, are slowly healing. And we're on the right road. But there's concern of infection, which worst case could cause death. Fingers crossed, paws crossed, um, we should be able to keep any infection at bay. This furball, though. He's alive and he's got a little more spunk to him now. Has shown despite the burns, he's a pup at heart. All they want to do is love us and we should give them that back. And for somebody to take that from him, it, you know, it's just not right. And as he undergoes treatment, he's a trooper. They're asking whoever is responsible to do the right thing and come forward. It's hard to believe somebody would do that. It's just not right. You know, he didn't do anything but love somebody. If you have any information in this case, you're encouraged to call the Metairie Humane Shelter. All their information is on our website at www.tv.com. In Metairie, Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News.